such a lovely space that we don't utilise as much as we should. We've got a pond on the bottom, if you can find it, where they look into do pond dipping as well with the science. Sensory garden would be a wonderful thing for the children. Um, it can be quite calming, therapeutic, a uh, quiet place to come during break times, especially on the yard when they find the, the yard too busy and too noisy. We're just trying to get them to explore their senses and just get you know familiar with the environment around them. No, it is an amazing job. Can't say thank you enough to the Community Challenge for what they've done for us. There's something new for everybody, over from the youngest to the oldest children who all want to get involved in, you know, helping to make it a better space. The summer house will be using as an outdoor classroom. The pupils can access learning out there. You can use it as a calm, quiet space to relax and just Hello. Every part of the school have different little projects they could do and as I said it's just going to be an amazing space to use them. That's going to be a big part of their learning because we've also got subjects such as Duke of Edinburgh land studies which can take it on and help maintain it. The start that you've given us is just something that we could never have dreamed of, of going from a small project to every time we spoke to your team, we just kept thinking of all these extra little things that we'd throw in just to see whether we, you know, we could actually have them. So as I said, it's been totally mind-blowingly fantastic.